Hey, it's Vicki with Dementia with Grace. Have y'all ever wondered why there's a flamingo sitting behind me? <laughs> or why there's a flamingo on my book? Well, the reason is is actually pretty simple and pretty um, uneventful, kind of. When I was looking for um, something to put as the cover art of my book, Dementia with Grace, A New Positive Way of Dealing with Behaviors in People with Dementia, I wanted it to be focused on grace. I believe in grace. I believe that as a caregiver, you need not only to extend grace to the people that you're taking care of, but you need to extend grace to yourself. And I wanted a graceful creature to represent my motto. Um, and I thought about a swan. I, you know, first of all, I think that that's, that's kind of what comes to mind when you think about a graceful creature. Um, and then the more I thought about it, the more I thought, no, that's just too predictable. So I Googled um, graceful creatures and a flamingo came up and I thought, oh, I like that. It's bright, beautiful, balanced. And I thought that's exactly how I want caregivers to feel. Um, you know, bright, that they can, that they, you know, feel empowered um, to take care of their person with dementia. Beautiful, because I believe that the caregiver spirit is a beautiful, beautiful spirit. And balanced. I feel like that there's got to be a balance in your life when you're a caregiver. You have to be able to balance um, your different roles, your different emotions, um, the physical and the spiritual and the emotional and the financial. I mean, there's lots of things that you have to balance as a caregiver. Um, and I just thought, yeah, that's good. The other thing I thought was, you know, you cannot hide these legs. <laughs> these knobby knees and these feet um, you know, it's just all out on display. And when you are a caregiver of a person with dementia, you are on display. You know, you can hide, you can kind of hide heart disease, you can kind of hide, um, you know, other issues, but you cannot hide dementia. Um, not in the later stages. If you go out to eat and your person with dementia has a catastrophic meltdown, that is very much putting you on display. And so I thought, yeah, let's talk about that. You know, what we do um, is exposing and, and revealing. And I thought that the, um, the image of those knobby legs and, you know, feet in mud, I, muddy feet, I just thought, yeah, that, that sounds right. So anyway, that's the beginning um, of the story of the flamingo. And now I have lots and lots of flamingos. Um, I don't have any more sitting beside me, but... Um, the um, the new messenger bot that I'm setting up inside the um, inside the page, the Dementia with Grace show page. Um, her name is going to be Grace because this is Grace Flamingo. Um, anyway, so it's it's interesting to me, and I thought it might be interesting to you, um, and and you know to answer the question, why is there a flamingo over my shoulder all the time? <laughs> in these videos. That's where she sits. That's her little spot right there. So anyway. All right. I love y'all. I will talk to y'all in the next video. Bye. Mwah.